Hi, this is Dave Benno with an LP progress update. It's November 3rd. This isn't just an update, it's news. Uh, let me go ahead and recap and point out where we're at and what it means because it's, it's already happening. Okay, everything is happening. All right, I'm just going to explain it. So we started off by making a lot of websites and then we overdid it and Google sandboxed us. We did everything too well. Okay, we were working the algorithm so hard, Google said, whoa, 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 back off. <laughs> and what that meant really was we'd have a website that would have 12 other uh, websites pointing in at it, but like 45 to 65 or 85,000 backlinks, even deep backlinks through all the pages pointing in was too much. <laughs> so we had to go and take all of it down, put it all back up. Okay, we're basically just about done putting it all back up. 108 websites, old and new, all created, all ready. And we have automation for being able to create selective backlinks through just, you know, top level pages through the folders. Okay, so it's still deep backlinking, just controlled and not out of control. Every, everything's easy now. So this time we're not going to get sandbox. We're going to hit that nail on the head. Now, we know what that means because when we got sandboxed on the way, we got traffic. We got ranking results. We just slammed straight up through the results really hard and fast. And that's where Google Sandbox does. So we had to learn how to ride the dragon. Like I keep saying, learning how to ride the dragon. Well, I'll tell you what. In the meantime, we took down the pages. We're putting up news. So we're getting all that done. Um, now, I want to step on to the next thing because this is really, really big. We started to do AdWords for all of the different industries. You guys know that. We were talking about that. We have a senior Google partner who's extremely good at what he does. And I'm going to show you some results in a minute uh, or, or something really important. And we also got into cold calling. Now, with the cold calling, what we discovered along the way was the most efficient way to pull that off and mainly by popular demand, everybody was asking for this. How could we do robocalling? Okay, because if we learn the rules for robocalling companies, which we did, we went out of our way to learn those rules. We now know what we're doing. Then, if you can robocall the company successfully, because we're business to business and we have unlimited leads, that's not hard. You know, Reference USA, right? You guys remember that from the directories where we were teaching you how to download leads. Um, we can go and get these leads from Reference USA. And by the way, we've gone through a lot of them. Not one bad phone number when you download leads from there. All of them are good. Okay, and then we can start contacting them. And we need them to sign up so that we can clone the campaigns for their metro areas for that company with that phone number. And then put some AdWords money into those campaigns and start running ads. Get them a couple of good leads. They're hooked. They'll start paying for leads. So we said, how do we maximize on that program? Well, we decided here's what we need to do. We need to create a way for them to get free leads in the beginning, just a few. In other words, us doing our job. This is basically how it works in the industry anyway. You tell a guy you're going to get him leads, you agree on a price. The guy's still trying not to do it because he's afraid that you're hooking him somehow, that you're saying, hey, 58 bucks per lead and he's going to get bad leads. But you've somehow got it in the fine print that they're good leads. And that's what most people are scared of. So we said, how do we lower the border? Well, we realized the more we asked about it among ourselves, the more we realized it's very obvious. This relationship will ensure itself as long as we get them a few and they go, wow, those were pretty good leads. I want to keep this up. Now we know what it costs us to get them some leads, how much we're going to charge them for leads. Either they can pay exclusively or we're going to go ahead and run a shared group. And if we need to run a shared group, then we'll do another robocall round for other companies in that same area to join into that shared group. So we knew what we were doing and we've already started all that up and just said, OK, now here's our thing. Can we do cold calls that are working through robocalls? Well, here's where it works. And this is the thing that hit. This is one of them there, too. First one that hit was this. If you're going to go calling companies, maybe you're trying not to interrupt their day by calling them live. Maybe you want to leave a message on voicemail. So then you want to make a very simple, realistic sounding, hey, you're just talking to them about something that's working uh, for you that you're interested in sharing with them. And we thought, okay, that's one way to go. And that's good because it's going to sound like a voicemail anyway, like you call them. It's just you can do a thousand companies at once. Okay. Then we said, what about text messages? A lot of guys don't want to listen to the voicemail or sounds like an offer. You know, and so we thought, what about text messages? All right, so we kind of got into all this, and I want to just show you what's, what all of this looks like in a quick hurry. AdWords, a great lead, happiness, 
on somebody's part. A, a solid text example. Um, call results that I got. I'm just going to walk through these real quick. And what we did with the order form, which is a really big deal, and you'll see that and where that leads for everybody. And finally, the WMS uh, cold caller crew agreement, which most of you are going to want to sign and send to me. <laughs> Uh, because it's like an arbitrage opportunity right now. We're not going to allow this for many people. We're not going to allow it long because it just it overpays uh, compared to anyone else. But we want you guys to jumpstart this and we want you guys to get into this. And so we're, we're doing this, okay, until we say we're not doing it. So freaking jump in. And uh, let me explain it from the top. Here we go. Ready? AdWords. For those of you that want to fund AdWords, you get 20% of the cut for the Again, five positions that get paid at this point, right? For doing the full thing. That's if you're getting into the full thing. These are the positions. Cold caller gets 20% of the profit. AdWords funder gets 20% of the profit plus funds recovery. That's important. Funds recovery. Then there's, um, and that's because we need to keep that going anyway. The, the, the spend needs to keep getting recycled in for the next round of profits, right? And then we need to add to it to keep growing. But there you go. There's a stair-stepping mechanism. Then what? There's the average manager. That's the guy who's qualified to know how to run the AdWords and babysit them on a daily basis and try and improve them. I'm going to show you an example of that having happened and what that means for us. Um, then what? There's the website guys. That's us. Okay, Me and my crew that are splitting our 20% because we have to. That's for all the guys working on the website end. And then there's the asset owners, basically. I hate to say the word asset because, <laughs> well, you know, I'm not trying to talk about investments. I'm not trying to talk about stock. We are not a stock investment. You guys know that. I do not need the Securities and Exchange Commission coming in to ask me why I am selling shares in a stock with an investment label. And the answer is we're not. Uh, <laughs> but the reality check is if you call a website an asset, it's an asset, right? If you call um, a section of a website an asset, some people call them microsites, other people call them subdomains, other people call them geolocations, whatever, then it's still an asset, it's something you own. It's the way that you would buy a tricycle for your daughter uh, or son. It is an asset and you own it. Okay, having said that, let me walk through this real quick. This stuff is important. How can you guys get involved? You can get involved by getting assets. You can get involved by, and that means when you get the asset, it's like you own the building. Okay, everyone's going to run in and open up office in your building, right? So owning assets is totally valuable. Then what? P uh, paying for robocalls. Okay, this is a way, and that's what I mean by the arbitrage opportunity right now. A lot of guys don't know how to do their own cold calling, and they kept saying, what about robocalling? And we just said, well, we got to learn the rules. We don't want you guys really doing stuff on, on under our name that's going to affect us. We don't want a whole bunch of you calling the same clients, badgering them uh, with the same offers. So we can't just tell you, go here, download these leads. I mean, I could, right? I could say, go to Reference USA, look up garage door repair, choose a major city, say Denver, Colorado, or whatever, name a city, Atlanta, Georgia. And then... Download all the listings for employees one through four, maybe five through ten. Don't go bigger because they, they're they a big corporation. They probably aren't even looking. And then just go ahead and contact them. Now, that's great until 15 of you do it. Because then if 15 of you do it, all those companies are getting deluged. And if some of you decide to try them back a few days later, some of those companies might be getting 30 calls. Okay. I don't want that under our name. I don't want people upset and enraged because their phones are ringing under our name and saying, what can we do because this is harassment. So we decided, well, if we're going to run a particular program where we give advice, we're not going to give advice. We're going to say, you pay for the calls. Let us do it because we know the leads we're going through. We have the one account. We can figure out who's on our do not call list and we can keep up our routine without um, cloning that to a different account for you. We're going to do ours. You, Whatever you're doing, we didn't give you any advice. You went your own way. So there won't be any overlap. Okay. If there is, it's in uh, coincidental here and there, small stuff. Okay. But the reason you want to sign the agreement and go get into this is because it's stupid simple to line yourself up with a, uh, just a bunch of recurring income streams from this. Another one that's just as valuable, AdWords. It's based on the idea of maintaining the flow of the base Adding more as you go. The guys who get into that get first dibs and first call for where they want to put their money and how far they want to go across the nation. I've had guys say, 
how, how far can you go? Well, let's think about it this way. Say the average um, ad is going to cost like, I don't care, 20 bucks for most industries. <clears throat> and they're going to be like um, 10 hits a day in any one city. That's 200 bucks a day. Okay. Times 2,000 major metro areas. $400,000 a day in that one industry is the upper end of the average spend we can handle. $400,000 a day for just one client per city. Then if we have a shared program, then you basically duplicate that. So now we're up to $800,000 a day. In other words, two campaigns with non-overlapping keyword combinations in 2,000 metro areas for, per industry, $100,000 a day. Take that times seven industries, you've got $5.6 a day. <laughs> okay, so there is no such thing as is um, saturation anytime soon. And if we ever did saturate, what do we do? We get more industries into the game. Okay, let me walk through this real quick. Um, I got to go pick up my kid from the performing choir or the performing choir from performing uh, rehearsal down the hill pretty soon. Our family is going to go out to eat Friday night. They've been waiting for me all day. We've been busy. Okay, I want to walk through this. This is really important stuff. Here we go. First things first, I'm showing you the inside of an AdWords account where we very, very carefully took the first campaign. We got 3,000 in for it, and we started carefully tweaking it upwards and maintaining control. That's for distressed homes. Okay, so we started with our guys here in Washington, okay, as our model to build a quality campaign in this area for the guys here who want to benefit from it. Here's what has happened, okay? It took us a week. <laughs> Uh, to get the first two clicks, okay, and that was all on mobile. So we took a week to get here, okay, and then this happened the next day because now we're expanding. We expanded. Here's the point I want to make. In that week, okay, we only got 177 impressions. Now you might think that's not a lot of impressions, man. You know um, why? And the answer is not everyone's trying to sell their house fast. Okay, this is distressed homes. Now, here's the point I want to make. The first click we got, $41.76 with a 10% click-through rate, right? One click out of 10 uh, impressions got it. So it was a cost of $41.76. That call, somebody clicked on the ad in their mobile phone, but then didn't complete the call. $41.76, but there you go. These things happen. Here's the point. Next call that came in, okay, click-through rate somewhat higher. Call was cheaper. Okay, and guess what? That one turned into a totally good lead, a great lead. Okay, there is a very strong possibility that there's going to be at least base bottom $5,000 profit made from that call. So these two calls together, what are you talking about? 70, not even 75 bucks. 75 in, possibly 5,000 or more out. Okay, and then we said, wow, that's pretty amazing. Because that means that we did dial in well. Now, another point I want to make, we're in, we're doing this in an industry where these call, uh, these clicks are usually in the $125 to $150 range for the competitors. Okay? Because we have really worked hard on the websites and to get the ads right and tweak this in with a quality senior Google partner. Now we said, wow, this got us so far, but it took a whole week. We said, let's go ahead and expand a little more. Okay, so now we switch to desktop as well as mobile. <laughs> First desktop, we thought was going to be more expensive. One click, 100%, $26, so cheap, insanely cheap. You, we think by the keyword, it also at 26 bucks, what blows our mind, the keyword that was clicked on for that is a competitor's brand name. The brand name's generic. It's still a simple phrase. But the way it looks when we look at the logs is that probably the competitor himself just searched his own name, saw our ad at the top. It was number one, number one position, and just clicked it to see who the new kid on the block was. And what he doesn't know is he did us a small favor because he cost us 26, but at the same time got us to realize that it only cost 26 to show up for a major competitor's brand name. So our question was, should we take it down or leave it up? Because nobody bought, right? And we thought, well, if we take it down, you know, we can avoid getting clicks like that. But at the same time, how many guys out there are hearing about these other guys and kind of looking them up? And if they are, 
then we should be a rider on that progress. We should be up to capture that bid as well. Our ad in that case for those competitor names can be, don't forget to get our bid also. Long as you're looking for a bid, make sure to get ours, right? Something like that. So we thought, you know what? Let's not pull that down yet. Let's see what happens. See if there are more clicks like that. Latest click just happened that day. I don't even know why it's this cheap. And it may be just a lesser um, competed for keyword. But at a 25% click-through rate, it was only $6.39. Here's what we love. 41 down to 32, down to 26, down to 6. Okay? <laughs> we have been dialing and tweaking and dialing and tweaking and improving this campaign from the moment we started getting any data at all from our first cost. Okay? So we are doing this right. Even if we got no more sale, you're talking about 106 in with an overall click-through rate of 2.26% on a brand new baby campaign. We just launched it. It's an infant. Four clicks came out of that, and it's possibly 5,000 out. That's one in 50 out is basically the idea, and it could be more. Okay, For all of you guys who got positions in distressed homes across the nation, we are going to make sure you're all covered by the activities that happen across the nation as this goes. For all of you guys who put money into us, we're going to cover you. Some of you guys know who you are. Guys like Pierre, who asks about the number of pages you have indexed. The answer is this very directly, Pierre. It doesn't matter if those pages are indexed or not indexed. Because that has nothing to do with AdWords after all. Things that have to do with AdWords, page speed. Okay? but And, and content on the page. And connectedness of that page to other related pages. But just because you rank higher organically does not mean you rank higher in AdWords. If it did, it would be the same top guys in, in organics would always be the same top guys in AdWords. That doesn't make any sense at all. The, the purpose of organics is you earn it this way, but then AdWords is different. Now, by the way, um, for not having any traffic reigning, it's because we got sandbox. Like I said, we took down all the pages, put up all the new ones. We're almost done with the last of the 108 websites. That's quite a progress update. And as soon as, oh, that's good. As soon as that gets done, then we're going to filter through, like I said, really careful, deep level backlinking through all of them. And our backbone is going to be immense. We're going to get organic rank. We're going to get trust flow. Everything's going to start to grow. So this is coming. Um, for guys like Tom and Urian, I've got to break out the grid and show you where your positions are at. But again, it doesn't matter. If you got a position in Delaware, if we're not getting you into the game as we expand and pull this off, then we'll get you into the game anyway because you guys made it possible for us to get here. We're not going to leave any of you guys behind. Because, first of all, the more we do for you, the more you're going to come back. And this game, like I said, it can grow to $800,000 a day in just these seven industries, you know, uh, and or per industry times seven is 5.6, what is it, eight times seven, 5.6 million a day. There is no such thing as reaching the end of this yet, okay? Now, it's, it's pretty insane. Now, let me point this out. Roofing is done and ready for funding. Edwards funders, step right up. You want to put your money into a sure thing? Roofing's a sure thing. I'll give you another one. Beat your DUI. Only trick there is getting through to the lawyers is tougher uh, than we found for other campaigns. Don't ask me why. They just have a bigger firewall up in front. That's interesting but true. Now, what we do know is if you get the law firm with several guys working in it, then the secretaries and receptionists are great at killing all the calls before they get through to the guys, right? They don't give out those guys' phone numbers. But for smaller firms where it's just the one guy struggling to make the ends meet and the secretary who works with him struggling to help him make the ends meet, often his wife or girlfriend, then the fact of the matter is they are more receptive, okay? And now that we have Reference USA on our side, the, the, the number of lawyers just was so big in one area. We were trying to get like a thousand leads at once and so we choose a state. I couldn't choose a state. I had to dial it in for Orlando to get lawyers that did DUI kind of things, just standard lawyers. I had to just go with Orlando for 1,453. That big, okay? Just crazy. All right, garage door. 
if you want to talk about another sure thing, we got one of the guys who's working in our group worked at a garage door facility where they manufacture garage doors. They make them all day long, every day, three shifts around the clock. Didn't know that it was that big a business, but for those of you looking, that won't end. Orthodontist, you want to talk about something that's absolutely a sure thing? You put out orthodontist ads saying, we have great financing options available, flexible financing terms, whatever, and you contact a bunch of orthodontists, they'll sign right up, okay? Get them some leads, they are in, they are happy. Same thing with pest control, right? We had great experience with that, except it was in Milwaukee, where everyone's like drunk or drugged or something whenever they call these places. I don't know why. And so we said, let's not choose an economically depressed area. And also, let's have a new rule. If somebody's voicemail fills up, we're going to charge them for every call. They need to know that. <laughs> right? We will charge them by default if their voicemail is full. They need to keep their voicemail under control, not let it fill up. Or we're going to charge them for the calls. Okay? Because we're still paying the money to get the calls to them. Quick auto tow. Another sure thing. There are more cars being manufactured. <laughs> so there are more accidents and more breakdowns and more everything else, okay? There's no way that that's never going to be the thing. Now, here's the thing I'm most proud of right now. That's SellYourHome-Now.com, where we're running this campaign on SellYourHome-Now.com to compete with the multimillionaire advertisers, the biggest boys across the nation. There are only a few players across the nation. And these guys are in this huge $125 to $150 a click range on the keywords. But their sites suck. It's stupid, simple little landing pages with 200 words. And we're bypassing that with the, uh, the click cost through on the phone. And we're testing out desktop as well. But the fact of the matter is we're getting costs here that are extremely low because we put so much time and effort into the quality of the site. Now... We can expand what we're doing there just like we are for these other campaigns. And everything's going to be comparatively cheap. We're entirely competitive. And we have the right kind of Google senior partner who's doing and controlling these AdWords so that he can flat out tell us what we need to do to improve. So we'll do it. We are in our cut as website guys by making the improvements that make these ads cheaper. And that's what you see happening here. We've been really watching what we're doing and tweaking the way the ads work with the pages. We have a lot of pages to work with to get that dialed in, and it's gorgeous. We can run across a nation with this, and this will pay so well. I don't know how to put it. Say you're getting a cut at 20%, and just for the fun of it, let's say this. Let's say it costs $40 a click on average, um, $40 a call. Let's say we stuck with the phone. It was 40 bucks a call. Let's say it took uh, three calls for one good lead, okay? That's three times 40, right? For one good lead. Well, most companies, you got to use a five rule, a one in five rule. That says you get them five good leads and you should fully expect them to be able to convert one of those five. Okay, quality companies can convert one in five guys. They can't convert five in five or four in five for all kinds of reasons. You know, those guys are window shopping, who knows? Or they're not ready yet. But one in five who call in and they're serious, they're talking about the right thing. So then you think if it takes three calls to get one good lead times five, that's 15 calls. Say 40 bucks times 15 calls, 600. Now, going across the nation, if the average profit per sale is a base bottom 5,000, that means each good lead is worth 1,000. You, you talk to five to get one to close that each lead's worth 1,000. If the profit split is half and half, Half, half to the company who signed up and the other half to us from bringing those sales to that guy, then we are all splitting the other half. So that would be 500 bucks a call. Okay, That's the kind of pricing we should be doing for that environment. Now, if it's 500 bucks a call, a good lead that is, 500, it's 500 bucks for three calls, right? So here's what that means. Five good leads, 2,500 payout minus... The 700 it cost in the first place, or 600 it cost in the first place to get the calls there. You're talking about 1900 bucks. If you split that five ways, each guy who's involved in that project, okay, that's, what is that? That's $380. Now that's 380 at least a week, okay? If you're getting that to happen once a week for each guy, that's like 380 a week, all right? 
which is what? 380 times 4.3 if we were just being, you know, really serious about trying to make a point here. Just let me there real fast. 380 times 4.3. 1600 bucks a month. Now, say we're doing that times, and let's say we do that with like um, 10 metro areas. <laughs> You're talking about making 16000 a month just for being part of it. And for those of you who are taking up the cold call or arbitrage and paying into robocalls or doing the calls yourself, in other words, you're doing the work that has to do with the calls or you're paying us to do it in an organized way for you because we can't teach you and him and him if you're all going to go and do the same robocall routine, right? Like I said, I don't want 30 calls going to the same companies over and over and over again, all these different companies. So either you're just going to pay us to handle it, or you're going to make those calls yourself, live or voicemail. Okay. Either way you look at it, you're talking about like 16000 a month just from having like 10 clients. Okay. Whether you're in the AdWords side of the house, the cold caller side of the house, you own the asset. You, um, um, you're on our website crew, those of you who are actually making these pages. Right. We split our share, but you know that's just the way it goes. Or you're, um, who am I leaving out? The Awards Manager, of course. Mwah! <laughs> I'm going to say the Awards Manager. I love this guy. All right. These are open, and they are all powerful. They are built by the same guy. They're all going to have similar kinds of results just at their own dollar ranges. Obviously, clicks are cheaper through pretty much everything else. But I'm astonished that we're competing with the biggest boys out there. <laughs> and they wouldn't know how to compete easily with us at these prices. We can really take the nation by storm. All right, I'm going to walk through these other images real quick and make my points because this is a really big deal. Okay, like I said, one of those calls came in, right? This $32.30 call came in for the fun of it just to make the point. That was a five-minute long phone call, basically just talking through and virtually setting an appointment to come out and see the property at a certain time, whatever. It was, it was a great warm-up call and totally a good lead, and we know that. This right here, this piece of audio recording right here is our justification for that guy normally under normal circumstances when we're doing this across the nation, when you're part of it, and AdWords funders, you get access to the call logs. You see this, okay? So you know where your money's going. The AdWords manager has access to the call logs because he needs to know if he's making the right moves on the keywords to get dialed in to good calls like this. Okay. Um, who am I missing? Project funder, of course. You, the, Whoever owns the asset, you get access to the call log to see what everyone else is doing. <laughs> so anyway, when these calls come through, okay, that's the justification right there for $500 payment. Okay. In a normal situation, that's exactly it. Now, these guys are working with me. They funded this campaign. They're working with different rules because we have to use them uh, to get the distressed home thing figured out. But we're, we're there. Now, we're saying, let's see how much further we can take it without getting carried away. So, yeah, we have daily limit. You know, on these campaigns, so we're not going to blow any money. It's never going to get out of our control. But we're just starting to see how much we can ramp that up properly in an area. Okay, let me keep going. So, yeah, you know, you want a bunch of calls like these. Like one in three will be good. So we're going to go 40, 40, 40 normally, right? 40, 80, 120 out, 500 in. Would be a normal situation in this environment. This is what we're going for. Those of you who are wondering... We're that far away. We're already making it happen, and we're going to do it with all the other industries. There's going to be pages like this for pest control, pages like this for roofing, pages like this for orthodontics. All you guys getting about? Some people put in money for even cold calling orthodontics. Some people put in money for cold calling DUI. Some people put in money for cold calling um, pest control. Okay, you're doing the right thing. As we get these leads to send people uh, calls to, then this whole thing happens, and it suddenly makes sense. Okay, and it's where we get to control our daily income. That's the point of AdWords. You can control the daily income. All right, this is for the fun of it. This is actually a result of that. After this happened, I happened to be at the gym. I didn't, I wasn't here for this, right? I was at the gym. I picked up my phone just to check in with my son, make sure everything's good at home. And I saw this. <laughs> I kind of blocked this stuff out so you don't see too much, but it's just what you need to know. Just got a great call from a lady trying to sell a property that she inherited here, right? Said she found us on the internet. Oh, yeah, with the dashboard. I can hear the call. It's recorded. I had her eating out of my hand at the end. Totally awesome lead, right? Justification for the payment. 
that's the name of the game. This is what we're going for. And this is what, what we're going to be doing constantly. For those of you guys in, this is why you waited so long for us to make this happen. Next thing, here's an example too. I got to walk you through mobile calls, okay? Um, just to walk you through. Once you learn the rules and you know what you're doing, um, then it's just the strategy for getting a really good call through. I put this out through like 150 guides. It's not enough. Or I think it was, no, it was 80 odd, okay? Uh, but anyway, take a look. We can add images and videos and some text and a link and even a phone number to call. We can do it all in a text message that shows up on a phone, okay? And absolutely send it to millions of DUI lawyers across the nation to get them to sign up. By the way, what is this? Sign up for trial phone leads here, right? So the whole thing about getting them hooked, that's the hook that we found made it possible to lock and load a guy an hour into the system. I'm gonna show you that in a minute because this was a big deal. Now, I did three kinds of phone trials. One was a recorded call that I put out as a, vo uh, a ringless voicemail. And I found I did that wrong. <laughs> I thought it was ringless voicemail. I thought all of those would go to voicemail. That all of those calls I put out, which fit into three groups, live answer, voicemail, and just simply no answer. No answer. The phone never did answer. There was no one there. So just look at these two blocks, okay? So with because there's no charge for no answer, right? The, the call never happened, all right? But for these two blocks, that was 569 plus 736, right? Voicemail. Okay, here's what I found out. Um, ringless voicemail does something I did not anticipate. I thought all the calls went to voicemail, so I made what I thought was a good voicemail message. Okay, um, but the way it works, it calls a phone number and then it lets go and it calls it back right again, real, real fast. Why? To trick the phone. The phone thinks that the first call, incoming call, is ringing. So when it instantly sees the next one, it goes, oh, send this one to voicemail. So the first one doesn't keep ringing, actually. As a matter of fact, it probably never did get heard on the other side. The guy who picked it, uh, who got that first call probably never even realized he got it. That's why it's called ringless, okay? Because the phone wasn't along, around long enough, the call wasn't initiated for long enough uh, for the phone to start ringing. But then the second call hits, and the phone goes, hey, hey, there's a call coming in, so you go to voicemail. That's the idea. Except here's the problem with that. It's hit or miss. When it hits the phone, it's like a 50-50, whether it's actually going to go to voicemail or just that it's going to cause the phone to ring after all. <laughs> totally. And that's exactly what I saw here. Not quite 50-50, more like 60-40, but there you go. Okay? So that sucked because all these live calls, no, nah, man, my message was meant for a voicemail. So it sounded totally wrong in a live call, <laughs> which is okay. It just meant people hung up on it. Uh, so I, I lost that batch of calls, and I'm not going to call them back, but that's okay. We got millions and millions and millions of leads. Come back to that later. That's easy enough to do later, and that's okay. Uh, we know what the rules are. All right, so out of the voicemails, I didn't get much of anything. I only did two different kinds of messages for two different industries when I was testing. Thought, okay, so I'm learning from that. But I did see from the sheet that some people are listening, so... I've just got to rearrange and make it shorter. It was like um, a minute, six seconds. And frankly, I think it should be more like 20. All right, I'll come back to this. The, the point is people are paying for us to refine this process and make this work because that's automated. And it just goes, we just go across the nation with it. Now, second thing, text, right? That's why I was showing you this particular cool uh, thing here. I did two kinds of text. Let me just tell you. So first, I didn't have a way to differentiate between landlines and voicemail, and I just, or landlines and cell phone. I just thought, you know what? I'm going to run the same batch for texts coming from a different source, which I, I can do. There's a certain way to do it, and I did it, and many were failed because they're really landlines. Those are like office phones, okay, with secretaries. So I said, all right, that sucks because I get charged for those calls, it turns out, okay, but that's okay. The fact of the matter is, I found a service that differentiates between uh, the cell phone and the landline so that we can take a big list and split it into two. That way we can do calls the way we want to landlines. We can do text the way we want just to the mobile phones, Okay, which is a really good idea. All right, now here's the thing. 
the the 27.5 percent that it did send delivered this was two groups one was about 306 that was for garage door repair the other was the rest of it like 174 went to lawyers so like only 174 of these went out didn't get any signups but i'm not surprised it's too small a sample set okay but these happen fast they happen in seconds okay i was really surprised now here's the thing after I did the calls, I tried the voicemail. So before I got it all down like this, I had a really simple one at first because I was just testing it for the first time. I was like, hi, if we send you some leads next week, um, you know, would you be okay with receiving some leads next week from us to see if they work? Sign up here. It was something like that. And it looked really amateurish and it looked really personal and there was no image there was no video there was nothing to spice it up and I sent it out I got a sign up from and I didn't even mean to I accidentally hit the deliver button before I realized it, it said next or something and when I hit it it sent them and I mean inside like four seconds <laughs> like five minutes later a guy signed up now I want to point out the next part of this sign up for trial phones here right because I need to point that out what else have I got in here that I want to make a point about nothing so I need to tell you about this part now in the old days we had the order form the cold caller would take the order over the phone and fill in all the data fill in the business you know what the industry is what the business name is the business website the address the time for advertisements the phone that should be on there and everything and then we thought man now we got to go through and also fill in the rest of the stuff. Who, you know, which call tracking uh, metrics phone number is it assigned to? From what call tracking metrics account? Um, what award and campaign? What, who funded it? And what's their email and their phone and et cetera, et cetera, right? This is a form that got filled out on the phone. There are guys who filled this thing out. I've got a number of these I got to put into the system now. But you know what? We said, this is crazy. If we're going to be doing a bunch of robocalling like that, okay? Then we're going to have a lot of respondents. Are we supposed to be getting like a lot of emails with forms or what? You know, this is kind of weird, right? Or do they email them in? We said, no, let's step to the side for a minute and create. Okay, first of all, there's the agreement. I, I need to point that out before I forget too. See this? Go here, download this, fill it out, sign it, send it in, and ask me, you know, send some money for robocalls. Okay, we need at least like 400, 500 to make a real measurable dent on the robocall side. I'm telling people 500, some are sending 600. They're saying just lock and load um, because the robocalls, you guys are paying in so that we can make the perfect robocalls. Again, I don't care how many steps it takes to get to the end. We're going to be able to duplicate everything when we're done and we're virtually there. That's one. Okay. And yet, you get paid for that. Anybody who signs up from your batch of robocall funds, we're going to make sure everybody gets credit, okay? There's no way that you won't get credit because you're helping us build this way. Fact of the matter is, those are your guys. <laughs> and when they're your guys, then you're going to get your cut, your 20% off those leads, okay? Now, let me make that point clear, too. Here's what we did. We created GetTrialLeads.com. You can go there and look at it. So now our text messages, our voicemails, live calls, we just say go fill out the form at gettrialleads.com. Gettrialleads.com. That's it. We'll continue to make this page look better, but that's not really important. We, we ought to put something about what company because right now there's nothing at all, but that's okay. Here's the point. Somebody can select an industry. These are all the options. We've been separated between like garage door repair, commercial, residential. And for pest control, we separated between insects, bugs, and spiders, backyard moles, mice, rats, squirrels, and raccoons, the larger animals and the smaller ones, and then backyard moles, right? And we separated between roofing, commercial, residential. Each guy gets, you know, they can only sign up once because we're going to send them a couple of leads, monitor to make sure we got them some good leads, and then give them a call and say, hey, you like the leads? Let's talk about a week-to-week -week agreement. That, talk about lock and load. As soon as you get a guy, a couple of good leads, even if it was like five, ten calls, and they get like one or two good ones, they are suddenly locked and loaded. They want to do that and do more. That's it. So they just fill out the basics, right? Got hours of operation Monday to Friday. What about Saturday? What about Sunday? Now choose a state. Say they choose a state like, man, whatever, Georgia, right? 
it's going to show them all the metro areas that count there. Say they choose another area like Iowa, then it gives them the service areas for that. Okay, this is the service area. So we can see really quick where we need to send them the leads, right? Now what? Who's the guy we can talk to over there so that we can call them and ask them how they like the leads? Okay, and the phone number, and we'll only call them and ask them when we know they like the leads because we're recording the calls. Okay, in the meantime, a great advantage too of doing it for free, giving them some free leads, we aren't bound by anything. We don't have to give them a certain number. We, we can literally decide on our own and we can decide who we want to stop giving leads to who and double up on the guys we like and make sure that we get them on a program. We'll also know how much it costs. So we'll know how much to add for profit and therefore how much to charge them. And that campaign we can run across the nation with. We have notes about their preferred leads, you know, things that they do want and things that they don't do. Like if you're a roofer and you do not do tar roofing or foam roofing, let us know. If you're a pest control guy and you do not do large animal removal, you only do insects, wasps, and bees, let us know. Okay. Notes over best hooks. What do you have? Do you have like a free on-site evaluation? Do you have a, um, if you're a lawyer with DUI, a free consultation? Uh, do you have like a personalized mouthwash for new patients? Something like that. If you're an orthodontist, whatever it is. Promo code. Promo code can be used for anything. It's just four digits long. One, two, three, four. Letters and number combinations. What do you think the promo code is going to be for? Cold callers. They identify you. So we know when you're, um, when people are responding to something you put through. So any of you funding us, when we run your campaigns out, it's with a promo code we create for you. Now let me show you what this means. They are going to sign to say, by submitting this form, I certify that I'm authorized to act on behalf of this company and that this company is aware of this request and approves of this request, right? We want to make sure that that's clear. Also, by submitting this form, you understand that we record the sample calls we send you to determine the quality delivery, right? You also agree to not let your voicemail fill up or we will have to stop sending you some sample leads. Sending you sample leads. Since we're sending you sample leads at our own expense, we really appreciate you answering calls live when possible. Thank you for your support. They got to hit both of those to submit the form and of course they have to fill them in. Okay, these are required fields. All right, now, What's that mean in the back end? So you see the beauty of this? Now take a look at this, let me show you. If we go like this, and we say something like, oh, promo code equals, that could be you. Let's say you are G5R4, boom, okay? Guess what? It's already filled in. No one has to remember to fill it in, it's filled in. They'll leave it in there because they'll think it's important. They'll just let it be and continue, right? What else? And, and yeah, I mean, that's totally like, let's say it's not G5 anymore. Let's say it's G7 or 4. All right. I'm just making this point. All right. This thing works, totally works. Now, I'll give you another one. Let's say we want it to look a little more personal. Say we're doing this for lawyer DUI. Well, this is one, two, three, four, five, five, right? So this is where the industry is number five in the list. So let's say not only is the promo code that, but ampersand and. IND equals five. I think that's right. Okay, so it's selected already. It looks good that way. There's a promo code. Do you get it? So all these combinations totally work. I'm gonna make that R a W and make industry like seven. Okay, pest control insects, bugs, and spiders. G seven W four, and that's it. Now, what's it look like in the back end? I'm going to show you. When somebody does a re response, that, and that blew my mind, the simplest ad did the best. The one that I put out that was kind of like an accident and just looked totally amateurish, like just me talking to one guy, okay, that was the best one. So when a guy fills it out, we're going to get the information. Very simple. It's a guy's request and their contact information. Now I'm going to point something out. If we, if we go into it to edit it, I just want to make sure you guys understand how cool this is, okay? And let me sign in. Okay, so if I go to hit edit, check this out, okay? Um, the information's there the way I entered it, complete with the promo code, okay?
Okay, so we're going to know in the back end who that belongs to. Now, let me go and make this point. Additional information that that guy never saw on the form. Who is the cold caller, right? That's based exactly on the code, tells us who the cold caller is. All right, we're going to be able to autofill. We're going to have a back end pretty soon where we just upload this and whatever the code is, is going to autofill the name, the phone of the, the person who is the cold caller to be, um, to be accounted for for this. All right, what else? Now that this is in here, uh, whatever's in here, newest ones on top, then the AdWords manager can get to them because it's the whole point. So what do we have now? Call tracking metrics. What's the phone number so we can record the calls and listen to them? Which account does that belong to? You guys who are funding this and cold calling the, uh, the cold callers get access to the call logs, just like the owner of the asset gets access to the call, log, uh, call logs. So you'll have this information. Which website was assigned to it, like sellyourhome-now.com? Some website was assigned. Is analytics installed in that account in the, in the relevant page for this thing? Yes or no, or pages, it should say. But exactly. AdWords account, when it's created, which account is it? What campaign belongs to this guy? Then guess what? As soon as all that's ready and we are ready to send ads, we're going to be saying, who's ready to fund it? So whoever the funder is, because again, we got 5.6 million a day is the whole nation on just seven industries. So there is no, we have all the money for this. That's literally, this is why everyone gets to be involved. It's why it's so open. So the funder, who are you? What's your email? What's your phone? Okay. Then guess what? Campaign status. Okay. Is it in process? Is it done? Did Google say yes? And that would be authorized. And then after it's funded and we can start it, is it running? Okay. And that's it. And then disabled just if that should happen until such time as. But they're like the guy keeps letting the calls go to voicemail and saying he's sorry he's having other problems. I don't know. But there you go. So that's it. So we're going to be able to keep this running list and make it very easy to look all this stuff up in the back end. So that we can make sure everyone's taken care of. This stuff is happening and everybody gets going. All right. So here are the things I want to say. There are a few ways to get involved. For those of you who say, I want to get involved. We have a bunch of towing websites that just got finished with lots of pages indexed that just that, that don't have owners yet. Those of you who want to buy a website or buy into one. We'll make room for shared projects for the guys who want to share. And, and guys who want to get whole websites, we also got garage door. We have a bunch of garage door that need to be bought. Okay. Cool thing is these are being done in groups. So they're already going to be backlinks. So there's going to be organic traffic coming through. And when you add all that up, that's, that's just insane. So take a look. If you go to theme to html.com, main website, hit streamline project. And that's the LPE project, right? Everything about it's here. You guys probably know this. So if you scroll down. There's the simple order form, fill it in, okay? Either you're getting a full project and you can make a part one, part two payment, but guess what? Like I said, we just finished GDR sites and tow sites that do not have owners. Those of you who say, I want to be in at like a tier two or tier three level, I just want to get in now and I want to get that, get it, okay? Because if you do, we, we've got so many websites to backlink you with right now and we'll start the AdWords process up because the AdWords is ready. All we need to do is start robocalling to get some guys to sign up on the form, and that's it. Then just fund the campaign, set it into motion, and the money comes out of it, okay? If you don't know what industry you want, just say choose for me, okay? Co-ownership, pretty much everything is at the $600 mark right now. Um, yes, uh, if you want that, okay? Again, if you want us to choose for you, we'll choose, okay? By the way, the state thing means less than it used to. In the beginning, we were doing states because we weren't sure what's going on. But now that we have the get trial leads, it's just we assign people these things as we line them up. Everyone knows that AdWords is where the money's at. That's why the biggest companies out there are putting millions a week into AdWords. And everyone understands that that's the best way to control the campaigns. And we already went through the video where we showed the stair-stepping mechanism. And we already went through the video where we showed what's the, the you know, how much does doubling numbers and then doubling that and then doubling that grow in a short period of time. Well, we're there. We're actually there. I mean, uh, everything's done. We just need to finish 
filling in the blanks for which, you know, getting the guys who want the lead so that we have the phone numbers so that we can clone the campaigns for them, their city, their metro area, their phone numbers, and then funders back it. And we have the mechanism by which we can save all the information for everything and everyone so we know who's who. We'll have a way to, for you to be able to log in and see yourself what's going on so that you don't even have to ask, hey, what's the progress? You'll just be able to log in and look. So this is the beginning of all that. Pretty soon we're going to be able to track how much is being made and earned and organized through things like this. We'll have a way to do that. In the meantime, you've got the call tracking reports come straight out of call tracking metrics for all of you guys who are in. You're going to have access. And you'll be able to see. We send the reports off to the clients when it's time to collect. We'll do that weekly. Give them a week or two to react and say if they need an adjustment for any reason. And then pay out. That's it. Over the next week or two, everyone gets paid. So it'll be like a lag. It's like once 30 days passes, then you're getting paid for every next week. Is the, the whole idea. Okay, This is pretty much where we're at. We're kind of just starting it, but we're, we know how to do it now. And now that we have our online tracking and those call reports, all the tracking is in place. So this is pretty easy. Okay, So it's huge. Those of you who are getting in, yeah, you're going to love it. Uh, definitely get into the cold calling thing. Send me money for robocalls. We have to get people in for 2,000 metro areas. You know, times seven industries is the goal. That's 14,000 people that we want in here to have this whole thing filled out. Do we need 14,000 people to cover all you guys? No, nothing like that. Not at all. But the fact of the matter is, if we're just thinking maximum, what, where, where are we going, what's possible, you're talking about 14,000 guys. That's 14,000 hours campaigns. And, yep, our Google senior partner is already starting to prep other guys he trusts and knows. Uh, to work with them so that he can expand the speed at which they can create the campaigns for each different guy as soon as we give them numbers and they just log in and look. They just log in and literally see what's new and for them to touch and then they just start going about it right then and there. So all this is automated. Okay. All right. And for those of you who want to get assets, <laughs> again, I'm just saying assets, right? This isn't this is not an investment like SEC investment. This is just you owning things that you get. Get in here and either get a full website to yourself or get a co-ownership project. Those of you that want the full website, deliver, deliveries like tomorrow. Robocalls are like the next day. Outwards uh, setup is like the next day. And then we just need funders and that's it. Already money's going to start to come out of it. How's that? That's Basically what it's going to be like from now on. So all this waiting that you guys have done. Thank you for all the waiting. It's been a lot for us to get here learning how to ride this dragon. But now we're here. So there's your great big massive LP news update by now instead of just progress update. I mean, we're past progress. Now it's just we're in marketing mode. We're done making websites. We're, we're finishing off the last ones. And then that's it. We just interweave backlinks through them, which some guys are doing on the side to make the backlinking backbone creep up because that's going to be organic calls that you're going to get paid on that didn't even cost anything from AdWords. But in the meantime, no point in waiting. There's so much money to make in AdWords that if we ignore it, we're nuts. Okay. So we figured out the best hook for getting guys going and we're learning how right now we pretty much figured out, make the pitch simple. Like simple text, simple voicemail, amateurs, make sure it sounds like one guy to one guy. And that's going to have the best turnover effect to get them to sign up for a trial. And that's awesome. Then we just do our job. Send them a couple of good leads, make sure they're happy with it, make sure it's going in the right direction, which we get to tell from the call recordings. We don't even have to call them to ask. And then that's it. Just get them, get them to agree to pay. Now we keep sending them leads, and it's just business as usual. We just creep up the spend to get them the most leads that they can handle. This is really amazing. It's, it's taking a long time to get here. A lot of it's because we've got Sandbox, and we had to rip down pages and start up new ones. And But at the same time, it was worth it because we taught a whole crew how to create these websites, so we're pounding them out fast and hard. So we're going to grow like mad now. And we can expand into new industries. We're going to be one of the biggest systems like this on the Internet, and I don't know if there are any as comprehensive as this is, with opportunities for you to join and either become a cold caller or own an asset or run AdWords 
or be on the website crew for the guys who are, or be on the um, um, average manager crew for those who are. Okay. But there you go. Then the opportunities are just amazing and they pay incredibly well. And you get to watch the calls in the call in the uh, caller log. You can log in any time and check out the recordings and you can see what's going on. All right. I hope you like the update. Make sure to come, get involved, somehow get involved, no matter which way you want to go, whether you want to own the asset, you don't have to do any work. Whether you want to cold call, you basically don't have to do any work, not really. Um, if you want to get into uh, uh, AdWords funding, you basically don't have to do any work. Just go and listen to the recordings and see how things are going and understand what's going on. Everyone's working really hard to make the cash flow, so come and see what's up and get involved. It's really a good idea to get involved. All right, that's your latest news. I hope you find it interesting and fascinating and cool and exciting and you want to get in. Okay, do it. All right, I'll see you soon.